Okay, so we're looking at Pythagoras. We've got two different questions to do. The first question we're looking at is if we need to find the longest side. So if I need to find the hypotenuse or the longest side. So if we want to find the hypotenuse or the longest side. Okay, so the first thing is how do I notice which is the longest side? Okay, on all right angle triangles, okay, where the right angle is, if we draw a diagonal line away from the right angle, that's going to be the longest side. So in this case, my V is the longest side. So part and parcel of using Pythagoras, first thing, realize which side is which. So the smallest side is going to be A as a rule of thumb. The middle side is going to be B, and the longest side is going to be C. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Next step, I'm going to sub in the values that I know. I know A is 7.2, so 7.2 squared. I know B is 11.5, so 11.5 squared. And I'm going to add those two together and that's going to equal whatever my C is and in this case they call it V so we're going to substitute in the value that we want V squared so over to the calculator okay if you haven't got a calculator you're going to find this difficult especially with decimals so 7.2 squared is going to give me 51.84. I'm going to add 11.5 squared to that, which is 132.25, and that's going to tell me what v squared is. If I add those two sums together, 132.25 plus 51.84, that's going to give me 184.09. And remember, that's v squared. I need V on its own, so I'm going to do the opposite of a square, and the opposite of a square is a square root. So I'm going to square root both sides. So if I square root V squared, that's going to give me V, and the square root of 184.09 is going to be 13.57 to 2 decimal places. Okay. As a rule of thumb, it's either one decimal place or two decimal places. I've done this one to two decimal places. And remember, when we're rounding, anything above five, five and above, is going to round the next digit up. So hence 13.57. And always remember my units, in this case, millimetres. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, this time... If I do the same process, I'm going to come across from the right angle. So that's my hypotenuse. That's got to be my C. Okay. Uh, this side, the K looks like my smallest. I'm going to call that A. And the other one I'm going to call B. Next stage, sub in the values. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared, we don't know what it is, but we're going to call it K. B squared is going to be 15.9 squared and then c squared we know that one is going to be 21.7 squared okay so to the calculator 15.9 squared is going to be 252.81 and 21.7 squared is going to be 470.89 now I know that k squared plus that value is going to equal 470.89. So to get rid of the value this side, I do the inverse. So I'm going to take that away. So this side of the equals, I'm making that equal 0. And I've got to do that the other side. So literally all I'm doing is taking it away from both sides. That's going to leave me k squared. Value of k squared, 470.89 minus 252.81 so that's going to give me 218.08 remember that's k squared 
I want it to be k and to get k from a squared I'm going to square root so I square root my value and that's going to give me 14.77 and this is kilometers to two decimal places and that's the workings for finding the longest side and for finding the shorter side.